cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, also known as CIN, or cervical dysplasia. Cervical dysplasia is characterized by abnormal growth of cells on the surface of the cervix. Cervical intraepithelial neoplasia is not cancer, but it has potential to become cervical cancer. Cervical intraepithelial neoplasia commonly occurs in the transitional area of cervix, where squamous epithelium of the vagina and the columnar epithelium of the endocervix meets. Cervical intraepithelial neoplasia is classified from CIN1 to CIN3, where CIN1 is mild dysplasia, and CIN3 is severe dysplasia. There is no specific symptoms for CIN. But nonspecific symptoms include vaginal bleeding, postmenopausal bleeding, abnormal discharge from vagina, pelvic pain, abnormal appearance or palpation of cervix. The cause of cervical dysplasia is human papillomavirus infection, especially HPV type 16 and type 18. Not all papillomavirus infection causes cervical dysplasia and not all cervical dysplasia will become cancer. Mechanism O The dysplasia is thought, human papillomavirus can inactivate tumor suppressor genes such as the P53 gene and the RB gene, thus allowing the infected cells to grow unchecked and accumulate successive mutations, eventually leading to cancer. Risk factors for developing CIN Infection with a high-risk type of HPV such as 16, 18, 31, or 33. Immunodeficiency, e.g. HIV infection, multiple sex partners, cigarette smoking. Diagnosis. Pap smear is used for screening method, which can detect dysplastic cells. Colposcopy with direct biopsy is the standard for disease detection. The diagnosis of CIN or cervical carcinoma requires a biopsy for histological analysis. Most mild dysplasia is called CIN1 also known as low-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, LSIL. SIN1 is spread to the basal one-third of the epithelium. CIN1 has high rate of regression back to normal cells. CIN2 represents moderate dysplasia confined to the basal two-thirds of the epithelium. CIN2 sometimes is high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, HSIL, which is more severe form, and high probability to progress into CIN3. And CIN3, severe dysplasia with undifferentiated neoplastic cells that span more than two-thirds of the epithelium, may also be referred to as cervical carcinoma in situ. Prevention HPV vaccination is the most important primary prevention of both CIN and cervical cancer. Vaccine is available for both, male and females. 9 to 26 years. Which is recommended, before sexual debut. Treatment. CIN1 treatment is not recommended if it lasts less than 2 years. Because high probability to clear on its own within 12 months. Close follow-up is important. Treatment for higher-grade CIN involves removal or destruction of the abnormal cervical cells by cryocautery, electrocautery, laser cautery, loop electrical excision procedure, LEEP, or cervical conization. Prognosis. Most CIN spontaneously regress. Left untreated, about 70% of CIN1 will regress within one year, 90% will regress within two years. About 50% of CIN2 cases will regress within two years without treatment. Progression to cervical carcinoma in situ, CIS, occurs in approximately 11% of CIN1 and 22% of CIN2 cases. Progression to cancer typically takes 15 years with a range of 3 to 40 years.